good morning happy saturday um look at me with all the makeup on I, I know i'm out for a little bit this morning because i'm gonna hang out with my sister later but john had to go into work today so weekend at the witchers will be a little bit different this weekend but i went out when he came out because i figured i'll work for a few hours make a little bit of extra spending money for callie and i today before she wakes up because it's the weekend she ain't waking up <laughs> so i figured i would take you guys through this instacart order in case anybody's ever been curious exactly how instacart works so here i'm just gonna screen share everything and then i'll do a voiceover probably and let you all know um exactly how this process works so voiceover josie here i sped this up a little bit just because it is a fairly decent size order anyways this is how it works so you accept the order for the dollar amount and how many of our miles that you have to travel and on the instacart app you can kind of get an idea of where the location is just so you know if you want to accept it or not and then you go through the store and find the items so the good thing about most stores is that it tells you exactly where you're going to find the item what aisle what shelf and all of those things now i am super familiar with these stores because i've been doing instacart for such a long time that i don't necessarily need to know like the shelf and stuff but i definitely always look at the aisle and um you'll see at the end here but i completed this order in about seven or eight minutes and the allotted time to do this order was 14 minutes so like i said i'm just very familiar with the store and that's why i'm able to like fly through it so fast but you shop through all the items again. Um, oh, and the when you accept it, it does tell you how many items too. So, you know, if you get an insanely large order and you don't feel like you are being paid fairly for that order, you don't have to accept it on the Instacart app, which is great. So I'm going through the store and just shopping here, getting everything that the customer is wanting. Um, this customer is obviously having some breakfast or something. I'm jealous that I'm not going to be able to enjoy that with them, <laughs> but I just continues to shop through the items here and everything is timed and then once you're finished you will go to the um, register you'll scan the items yourself and then you have either online pay or they give you like a debit card that you'll use it will actually actually it's a credit card so you will just go through and check everything out as you would like if you were purchasing your own things and then you would scan so one or two things, you scan your app for online pay and then you don't have to insert your card or you'll scan your app for two different codes and one code is like their loyalty rewards and then one code is the Instacart Marketplace code and that will charge them um, $9.95 for an expedited Instacart shipping fee. But I don't really know exactly how it works. Like which ones prompt to online pay and which ones prompt to have to use the card but you never have to use your own card obviously or like nothing is preloaded it's just a debit card that gets assigned to you when you sign on to the platform so that's a good thing to know that I think a lot of people don't quite understand exactly how that works um so just in case anybody was wondering and this one I actually got lucky because it was just one order I've done up to three different orders at a time and I usually just like to separate my buggy like one will go in the top you know like where you would put a child in the the very top of it and then I will get a basket one order will go in the basket and one order will go like in the actual shopping cart so just in case you've ever like wondered how to do those larger orders but Anyways, I just wanted to give kind of a more detailed um, explanation of that in case anybody was ever wondering. I know on my other social platforms I had mentioned a lot about doing Instacart and Spark. And this just gives you like a, a very much more detailed explanation of exactly how I do it. This order was like $16.55. It was like 3.8 miles away. So this was a very good order and a very good start to the day. And then the next couple of clips I'm going to show you are Callie and I eating at the Chinese buffet after. Okay, you guys, I found um, the pair of shoes that you all can get me. <laughs> <laughs> Someone decided they didn't want their coffee anymore. <laughs> We're just looking at um, hair care and makeup now. <laughs> 
we were saying we want to come in here and do one of those videos where it's like dupe, you know, everything dupe because Ross is the place for dupes. Festive latte, you guys. I decided officially that I'm in Christmas season. I'm so ready. <laughs> We found Tree Hut here for $6.99. God, you guys, not my nails. Just don't even look at them. But, hmm. Callie said that's a good deal because they're usually like $10. She loves Tree Hut. I don't usually buy it, but. This is so cute. It's Coke and Cherry Coke and Strawberry Fanta. What a good little stocking stuffer. This is actually really cute too, a good stocking stuffer idea. I've been needing one of these things. I asked on TikTok a long time ago if you all liked this purse, so I'll ask you guys too because I debated about this purse for a long time, but now that I see it today, I don't really like it. And that's why you don't impulse buy. <laughs> Look at this cute. super cute purse. I like that one a lot. Neutral vibes. Mm, nothing else is really standing out to me though. Oh, that's cute. I don't like that it says Tommy though. Oh, this is cute. Burberry dupe. <laughs> They haven't started Christmas yet, you all, so <laughs> at least we're in the clear at this store, but every other, oh, every other store has started. That's cute. You all know I love my blue and white things. Oh, that ginger jar at the bottom. That's cute. JK, I lied. <laughs> there it is. So our mom told us that there is like a little Sephora location in this Kohl's and our closest Sephora is like um, two hours away because they're haters, I guess. So we're going to see if it's in here. <laughs> we're feeling very much out of our elements in here. <laughs> we can't find anything. I have the air on because it's actually so hot. It was like cooler earlier, but it's super hot now. Uh, that was a total flop. Thanks, mom. <laughs> There's no Sephora in there. She might be talking about the one that's at like a different location to us, but there's definitely not one in there. It would not be a sister date without Starbucks. <laughs> oh my gosh, don't even look at my nail. I'm gonna do it like this. So mine is a, oh goodness, Binti um, iced matcha latte with vanilla sweet cream cold foam, oat milk, and four pumps of white mocha. And Callie's is the frozen strawberry acai lemonade. Look how cute they look together, like Cosmo and Wanda vibes. <laughs> Hello and happy Sunday. I hope you all enjoyed yesterday's a few little clips. So basically I worked some and then I spent the day with my sister, which I think I said that, but anyway, I did all of that. We went to the Chinese buffet for lunch, which was phenomenal. And then we went just shopping around for a few hours. She went with me to film a video that will be going up on Wednesday. And then we got Starbucks and then we just went back to her house and hung out with my mom and her until John got off of work. So it was a really fun day. I miss seeing my family, especially my two sisters, because when I was doing Spark and Instacart, I had a lot more flexibility because I make my own schedule. So I was able to see them a lot more. So it's it's definitely nice to get together and hang out. But yeah, so today is Sunday. I have already done the reset on my own because I am gonna take you all with me to organize my dressers. It's getting chilly, so it's the time that I'm gonna like take some things out of the closet, put them in the drawers, put the things in the drawers in the closet, you know what I mean, but I've been wanting to do it for a few weeks now and I just haven't gotten around to it, so I figured that we could do it together. So here's my closet. I never show this closet because if you think the rest of my house is super clean and super nice, here's your chaos. It's always awful in here. It's a very small space. This heater gets in the way of everything. Um, so it's kind of, it's just chaotic. I've tried many 
organizational systems. Also, I don't show it because we have not done anything in here regarding like um, the walls or the floor or anything like that because this has just been like the last space that we've remodeled and I honestly don't know what to do with it because it's just so awkwardly like built. I have no idea what to do with it. But anyway, mine and John's tops, long sleeves jackets are all in here. And then this right here is full of um, sweatpants, leggings, and things that I want to bring out. So then those will go into the dressers here, which these are like shorts and skirts and things like that. So We'll do it together, but I just wanted to give you an idea. And then here are some of my sandals and stuff. I'm going to put those up here and put those down here. So, uh, I don't even like showing this, but like, this is real life. And who cares if you all are judging me for my closet, then eh, that's a you problem, not a me problem. But eventually we are going to do something in here. I simply just don't know what to do with it. So <laughs> for now it's been left this way, but I'm going to straighten it up a little bit in here and then, um, switch over those clothes. I took my big tripod out to give you all like a better angle, but this space is really small and the dressers right here. So there's really no way for me to like angle you in here. Oh, that's actually a lie. Let me try to set it up on my other one. Let me not do that. <laughs> This is how my mind works. Yeah, no, I just put you guys on my smaller tripod because I thought that like it's on the dresser so I could just angle you in here, but that actually gives you no clear pictures. So, <laughs> okay, let's go back. <laughs> okay, I think that's probably the best we're gonna get. Oh, you guys will be happy to know. I am buying command hooks for those and I'm moving them over to this wall. <laughs> Because I'm going to plan to do the bedroom uh, makeover very, very soon. So anyway, obviously I'm rambling because I don't want to do this. Let's get started. These are the pillows I was telling you all about in a few videos ago. So they already have the pillows. I just need to get the inserts. go from there but um, my bed is a mess I'll show you in just a second but I'm just gonna take this shoe thing out and bring it all out here so that I can go through each one because honestly there's some shoes that I could probably stand to get rid of I was looking at this pair of shoes like I don't even know where I don't even know where these are from but I was looking at a pair of shoes just like this on Amazon and I'm like, Ugh, I really need those for the fall. No, I don't. You don't girl. You already have them. to be at the top of there so I can have a freaking meltdown because John doesn't work. Uh-oh. Okay. Well, that's, that's cute, I guess. <laughs> I don't know if you guys saw that, but a bunch of clothes just randomly fell. Maybe I hit them on my way out. And that's what we're gonna go with anyway. cleared everything out. <laughs> I know you guys couldn't see like up here, but that was the blue bins I would, was bringing out. Those were the ones that were like lined up against this wall. And then, um, oh, I showed you guys over on that side. So now let me show you. We have all of this mess of stuff to go through. So what to do next now? Try to 
maybe I will organize everything on the bed and then put it back into places once I have everything organized because I feel like if I don't do it that way and I just start putting things back in, there's not gonna be a good system in place. So let me do that. I took it off the stand for a minute to show you just kind of where we're at. So everything here is staying, that's staying, this is staying, and then all of this is staying right here. So I'm just gonna move some things around because like I said, my clothes are in here. So I'll be moving some clothes out of the baskets, some clothes into the baskets. But as far as that stuff, that's staying. But I'm gonna try to find a better way to organize the space up there. So I'm gonna turn the camera over now and just run through really quick speed of me kind of going through all of this stuff and figuring out what I don't want and what I do want. And then we will try to put systems back in place. I think though, like where my mind is going so far is that I'm gonna change from these blue baskets being up here to them being on this side. And then I'll have shoes that we wear regularly, like nicer shoes, fancier shoes lined up here. And then I'll probably put the shoe racks down here or I might just line them here at the bottom so that that will be extra space for me to store a couple of my bags. We shall see. I know that we have been doing a lot and that's probably a pretty long speed cleaning clip but the bed is clean except for these which I'm gonna try to transfer like I was telling you into the drawers and then that bag and those are John's that are clean right now those two pillows I'm gonna keep on the bed and force myself because it will make me pull the plug on buying those pillow covers this bag will go back up there when I start doing that but the focus right now is going to be to go through each of these shoes and figure out what I like, what I don't like, and then put them back in the closet. But we are almost finished. I'm so glad. <laughs> Okay, so here's everything that we're left with. Um, so these sandals are gonna go like up at the top and then the flats and like winter-ish shoes are gonna go down at the bottom. And then I'll arrange those at the top, ask John about those, and then we will find a place for all of this. So let's get this finished and then we will change over the drawers. I am not gonna film this part because my phone is dying. <laughs> so I need to charge it really quick, but I'll be right back and I will show you the result. So here's the before. Um, the shoes are going to fill here and then I'm going to try to put some shoes up here, put my bags and shoes over here, and then I will show you the final result.
All right, it is finished. This is motivating me so much to get this closet done now because it's like such a cleaner space and I just want it to look like the rest of the house looks. So I ended up putting my real bags, my replica bags, everything bags up here. And then they're here and here as well. Shoes are up here. Um, summer shoes are there. Winter boots are there. And then these are like the winter-ish shoes. All of John's shoes. And then, oh, that pairs John's shoes as well. Everything that is on this side is John's. So to be honest, it's like organized clutter because I don't want to mess in all of his stuff. <laughs> but it looks so much better, you guys. Oh, and then I still have to, of course, do this, which we will do together. But I feel so, so, so much better about this. And if you're wondering where everything went, that has to go back in there. These are two Goodwill bags down here. This is going in the other bathroom. Um, this is going in Nathan's closet. Nathan's closet, Nathan's closet. This is Nathan's workout stuff. Um, Goodwill, I'm gonna see what John wants to do with that. And then that pair, I'm gonna see if he wants to keep those. These are going in the trash because that is missing a pair and then those are just like super busted up. So I feel so, so good about that. But let's go ahead and try to do the swap with these now. These are the different categories. All of that is summer. Those are pajamas and then those are pants and sweatpants. So my goal is just to try to make the top drawer pajamas and the bottom drawer, no, the top drawer sweatpants and pants and the bottom drawer pajamas. So I'm gonna go through this though really quick and just make sure that I want everything that's here. I have some things that I know that are in the wash that will replace these spots, so that's absolutely perfect. Perfect, oh my gosh, I'm so happy about that. All right, now that I am an absolute sweaty disaster, it is done. <laughs> I feel so much better about it though. It's been something that's been like weighing on my mind to do. So I'm glad that you were there with me to get it done together. I hope that that was satisfying for you. And if you enjoy videos like this, I would love if you would consider subscribing and becoming part of the fam over here. But I hope that you enjoyed spending the weekend with me as well. I know that John was not very present in this one, but the man's gotta work. I am gonna sweep him off the floors because there was like so much dust coming from the closet. So I wanna get that cleaned up and then I wanna shower because I am a mess, like I said. So this is gonna do it for this video because I think it's gonna be quite long at this point. But thank you guys so, so much for being here and I will catch you in the next one.